Welcome to the gallery. I'm your host, Brianna Gustafson, and today with me I have Cynthia Goldberg, who is Cape Cod Community Media Center's Artist of the Month. Cynthia, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you. Today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about you as an artist. Can you tell me a little bit about your background as an artist and a, a little bit about yourself as well? Well, actually, uh, for being um, the way I am today is that I am um, an, an artist, a writer, and everything about me is about how I come from and how I, how I come from and how to um, build my life the way I want to be, like, like a writer and, and an artist and an author and everything has a voice to say, to hear it speaking sound of words and to put it all in perspective because it's basically um, how to handle situations to be better situations to create your own self the way you want to be. And, um, and it's to help, to help others to learn who you really are deep inside. And basically it's about your heart and by putting yourself first and helping others to become of who they really are out today. Especially with children, when they pick up the book, they always read it. And they feel the words and feel the, feel, they feel the words, feel the sound of the words, and feel how, how the author words can speak the words to handle things like, like, like when you pick up a toy, um, they understand what that is. And when you pick up a book, you read, you feel the words, and you hear it, and you actually see them because they are with the pictures inside a book. And, and it helps you to remind yourself that how, um, how the book feels to you and as a person that who you really are. And about me, I'm a beautiful, pretty smart, talented and being a great friend to help everyone that has ever need a special love and, and attention to. Like helping with special needs is very important to me. Yeah. And being like a God's gift of love. Yeah. And you can see from all of your artwork that you're very talented without a doubt. And it's great that you use your life and experience to inspire your artwork. So it's really heartfelt and right. meaningful. So that's awesome. And I just wanted to congratulate you on your recently published book. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about that, how that came about? When did you decide that you wanted to write a book? Well, I decided to write a book because it, it, it helped me think and learn of who I am and to bring it towards um, how I feel deep inside. And, um, and all I write, it just comes from my heart and to bring it out to the world, to share to everyone, and to have the deep felt wording to it, because it all describes who you really are and as your background of yourself, and it, and it finds the background in me, to show to everyone that everyone has their own lifestyle of learning about things. And when you learn things, and it's like when you learn things, people make mistakes all the time. People learn and people grow. And, and everyone can fulfill that attention by bringing up the, by bringing the, the inner beauty deep inside of you. Once, once you have the beauty inside of you, you can show it to the world to be happy inside or sometimes people are sad and people are lonely. But you could change that around to feel that you're strong and you're warm-hearted and actually warm, yeah, warm-hearted and bringing up the steam like your own self-esteem. And, and it's all about you as a person. That brings out to the world of who you really are and, and just to bring out the features in, of everyday life. Yeah. Do you feel like writing has helped you become a better person and build your self-esteem a little bit? Yes, it did help a lot. I've been through a lot, but now since I've been 
Um, um, ever since I've written a, a book, I, I started writing when I was younger. And then, and then it all developed in all different areas of helping me to grow in these areas. I, and, and I learned it through art. And I learned it through how creating my mind. And I also created a special way of looking at it. And just by looking at it and reading it and by creating the words inside of it, makes me feel talented deep inside to get the, the emotion out and to get the emotion out to reach to other people of who you are today. And basically, it's all about yourself. and It's all about reaching to other people and feel the brighter in things, like love, peace, and happiness is all we need in the world to help the happiness come out to show the world that everyone is you, that, put, that persuades how you feel about things. And once, once you have a smile on your face, you can't let it go. Right. You gotta keep it growing and growing bigger and bigger. And, and to learn everything that you do and say, it all comes from the art that, that says it behind it, and then it goes through your writing. And once you learn and you're right, you always feel better at the end. Right. And I bet it's a great feeling having your artwork up here on canvases on a TV show and having your writing published in a book. I bet it's an incredible feeling. Yeah, it's an honorable feeling that I, I, I can actually feel. I feel very happy that I came this far of coming up with the book, coming up with the paintings and the writing and sell them in, in stores that I do admire. I'm not going to mention on TV, but um, which I'm building up that career of being the me who I really am today. And um, just being there for everyone makes me feel better about myself. That's excellent. Now, you said your book and your artwork is available in stores? Actually, it's going to be available in stores. So maybe we're going to enhance it to a lot more places. Awesome. And we talked a little, about, a little bit about you had a book signing recently. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how that was? Yes, I had a book signing at the Market Street Bookshop. And that went very well. And um, and um, I had a, a mob of singers singing to me um, that was set up for when I had my book for when I had my book signing, and um, and that um, that created my mind to think to create a world to create a world to make beautiful things in life and the way I see it is that it really went awesome and I really loved it. Well that's great. And it brought my feelings straight forward and I really and I'm willing to learn all the things that I did at, at this book signing I can do in other places too. Yeah well Cynthia I know you inspire a lot of people through your artwork through your writing you definitely inspire me as a writer and as a person, so thank you. Um, would you like to read us a poem, maybe, from your book? Sure. All right. All right. The poem that I'm going to read today is about thoughts about summer. Summer is here and gone. It had come to an end. I cannot believe the words. First, they were sad, and then they were done. I hope we will have a beautiful weather all the time. It's true, the secrets are still around the sun. God created beautiful things, which creates all things. 
there are a few of my favorite spirits that fly. And as they go up so high, feelings that come as I reach for the sky. Colors of the rainbow shine through the wind. These can be heard in the sound of the crashing waves. Beautiful. You're a very talented writer, obviously, as well as artist. That was a great poem, just in time for summer and the warm weather. Thank mm -hmm. you for reading that, Cynthia. You're welcome. Um, let's talk a little bit more about your art. What, what is your favorite type of art? Do you like to draw? Do you like to paint? Do you do any photography? Um, I haven't done any photography before, but um, I've learned how to do it in acrylics and oh, paint. Really? and just come up with thoughts in my mind and just get it onto the canvas. And um, just everything flows into creating a, a world that matches everything that I've learned. I learned a lot from the Katuit Center for the Arts and that's where I first um, did art there. I've been doing shows there and all these different things that I've done there. And I was the first one that created a key project with Lenore Linus. I, we had Lenore a couple weeks ago, and she talked about the key project. And that's a really cool project. Yeah. Um, another very inspirational art project like all of yours. Right. And so I created this stuff for the book. The one that inspired me the most was my house of worship with me in the picture. I could do it there for the arts during open mic and coming out of my shell to open more expressive art that, 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 that art can be out in real life. And then, and, and then this one inspired me because of the heart, because it all symbolizes in love and to help others feel the love of creating the world that's you deep inside of you. And then I created that one to match with the others. And then I cr created um, that one with um, another art teacher, which was Tessa Dedestino. And um, she helped me with getting collages made up. And then, then we all cut out pictures to create the, the world of nature that lives outside. It's like the weather is like painting a picture. So it's hard to believe what the weather is unless you know what the weather is outside by your own window. Right. And then you know what's happening that day. So you know how to, they know how to plan the day for when you want to be active and do things more with, with your life. And then, then I created all hearts because that is symbolizes love to bring to the air of being yourself to be true to your heart. And when it's true to your heart, people will understand what, what will come out from, what come out from is what you feel inside. And then from the heart to the angels, because angels help you surround, the, surround you to make sure that everyone, that they make sure that, that the angels are there to support you and help you through rough times and to make things interesting. So I've been keeping a journal with all my writings in it and make it soundproof to your background of yourself to make you feel like you are yourself in your own heart being. And then that one, we took words out from magazines and then I created a poem out of it with my name on it with a whole picture standing. It was like a wall hanging. And, and then they remind you of, of all the positive things about yourself. And then once you think the positive stuff about yourself, a lot of you will come out to say how, a lot of pe people in the world will come out to say, hey, that's what, 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 what you really are today. And then you're smiling, then you're happy, then your work will be good, your health will be good, and everything will be good. It's all about taking care of yourself. Once you take care of yourself, others will love you more. And, and to draw through 
Well, um, once, once all that comes to a big part of your life and makes you feel like you are a person deep inside of you, which comes out to be a person who you really are and really show to people that out there showing you the best way of living. And then that brings you all this stuff connected to your life. Like the picture I have, this man was so excited and his name was Chris from my basketball team, which is from the K-Cloud Waves. He bought my book over there and with the fountain right in front because it, because of that area, because it brings the water down and it brings all the attention to what you're feeling, to what the guy is feeling. And he felt so proud to be him because it's all about learning with special needs, learning about yourself and to help out yourself and to learn who you really are. Because everyone's not perfect. Everyone makes things in, in a different way. When all pieces get connected together and makes a one big happy family, one big happy heart, and one big happy everything. And that's what creates having a world of, that creates a beautiful world in your own home and your own heart. Awesome, yeah, that's a great way to live, Cynthia. I love your positive attitude. You can definitely see your positivity through your artwork. Thank you so much for being here today. It was great talking with you and talking about your artwork. Um, congratulations on your book. Anyone who does purchase Cynthia's book, she has a spot that says, now you, now it's your turn. Your very own part begins here, which I love that you're inspiring other people to continue writing and putting their feelings on paper, which I think is so important. So thank you again, Cynthia, for being here today. And thank you for watching the gallery. And I'm Brianna Gustafson.